Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. We are discussing how to solve quadratic equations. I have an assignment here and I've taken a few questions from this assignment. These are the questions which we are discussing one by one. Here is one of these. x square over 4 minus x over 3 equals to 1 over 3. Now what you see here is kind of fractions. Strategy as you know is very simple and that is called get rid of fractions. Now that is the simplest strategy. Fractions make things very complicated, right? So even at this stage, I feel uncomfortable working with fractions. So what I do here is, I try to get rid of fractions. How do you do that? How do you do that? Well, to do this, we are looking for lowest common denominator, right? So we are looking for lowest common denominator. The terms are 4, 3, 3, so, so that gives us a 12 as the lowest common denominator, right? Okay, so what we do actually is, we multiply each term by 12, so times 12. So just 2 times 12 to get rid of fractions, correct? Let me show you this technique. So we have x square over 4 minus x over 3 equal to 1 over 3. We'll multiply each term. This is product. Let me write with the decimal. Okay, that's product symbol, right? Times 12. Times 12 times 12. So when you do that, 12 divided by 4 is 3, right? So 12 divided by 4 is 3. I could write this as 3x squared. 12 divided by 3 is 4, so minus 4x. And here you get 12 divided by 3 is 4, right? Now you can rearrange, write this as 3x squared minus 4x minus 4 equal to 0. So we get a quadratic equation. Now once you have this kind of a quadratic equation, how are you going to solve? Well, there are two ways at this stage. You could use the formula, right? If you have equation as ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, formula is x equals to minus b plus minus square root of uh, b square 4ac, right? Divided by 2a, correct? So that becomes the formula. You could use it. The other way is to factor, if possible, right? So one way is this. The other one is factor if possible. always it may not be possible to factor this is important to understand now to factor let's try we are looking for product of minus 4 times 3 which is minus 12 and sum of minus 4 minus 4 so the two terms could be bigger term is minus 6 smaller term is plus 2 those are the two terms right i hope the strategy is clear so we are using this factoring technique product and sum minus 6x plus 2x minus 4 equals to 0. So we have split this minus 4x as minus 6x plus 2x. Let's see what is common between the first two terms. It is of course 3x. So we get x minus 2. And here we have 2 common plus plus 2 common x minus 2. Now you should always get this as a common factor else there's something wrong. Okay. So x minus 2 is a common factor. You get 3x plus 2 equals to 0 and that gives you the solution. How? When you multiply two factors and you want to get 0, then you could equate each to 0. So x minus 2, I mean, so x equals to 2 will make x minus 2 0 and x equals to minus 2 divided by 3 will make that factor as 0 and therefore that becomes your answer. Do you see that? So that is how you get solution of your quadratic equation by getting rid of fractions. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.